Choosing the right path for yourself is always hard and going for it is even harder. Let's talk for a second about design schools or more sweeping about schools. It's hard not to think, oh, I need a good design school or I need to go to university to be a good designer. Bull****. The reality is that no one needs school to be good at something or to study the things that you want, uh, etc. In the time that we are living, there are plenty of options where you can start studying the, thi the things that you want and the best one is, of course, the web. What is up guys, happy to see you here, let's talk about why no one needs a design school or more sweeping a school. And I'm not saying that you don't have to go to school, but if you're not convinced to, it's totally okay, instead maybe your right path is to study everything on your own. And nowadays it's completely easy and fast because you have the internet and a lot of platforms, but I'm gonna talk about this in a second. And let me explain everything in a more specific way. Talking about design, it's fundamental, of course, to know the basics and the history of it. But you can learn these type of things uh, reading books on your own uh, that are 100% more enjoyable than the ones that you can read at school. And you can use also the internet. And in my opinion, finding your path by yourself is the best way possible to be a better creative person. We create pieces of art and as artists we want to have freedom for our decisions and we want to push the boundaries of our creative mind. And in a school, you can't do that. You have to follow some rules, you have to follow some sort of schemes, and you can't go out that much from them. Let's give a look at this design, this one, or this one. And they're extremely awesome, right? I'm not saying that schools are not useful. Of course they are but maybe they are not as useful as you might think. Having the freedom to choose the way you study, create and think allows you to make everything much easier and more fun, letting you experiment with different things, with unconventional methods, etc. And a lot of big icons on the internet, such as Peter McKinnon for photography and cinematography, Chris Do as a designer and so on, talk about the fact that the more fun you have doing the things that you love, the faster you reach your goals. And what is the best place, if not the web, to make studying enjoyable? It is the biggest encyclopedia of the world and there are a plethora of options where you can study from, for example, YouTube with your favorite YouTubers, awards if you want a more detailed explanation of what you're studying, Skillshare, Udemy, etc. And all these options are cheap. If not free, do you want to argue with that? There is a lot of content that is free, completely free. So what? And on the other hand, we have schools with a high price and you might think that the level of preparation that you can get from the school is much higher than the one from, that you can get from YouTube, but it's not true. Since the moment that you are the teacher of yourself, you can decide how much deep you can dive in the things that you want and in the topics that you want. So you can decide the level of preparation of yourself. You can achieve a way higher level than any school in the world and in university, academy, etc. And it depends only on how much effort and time you put in the things that you're studying. And do you want to discuss about the comfort of staying on your couch, studying the things uh, on your couch, drinking a cup of tea or coffee, and wearing a pair of headphones, uh, taking notes from on your iPad uh, or laptop, while in the other hand you have to wake up early um, and do a lot of stuff that you don't really want to do? And you don't have deadlines for any kind of exams. You can study one thing for the time that you want. And let's take, for example, uh, After Effects. It's a beast of a program and it requires a ton of time to master it. Try to think how many years it takes to master the program in a school to get to the point where you can say, I'm a pro at this program. On the flip side, try to imagine how many tutorials you can find with free access and how deeply you can master the software in way less time. And what if you want to merge your passions with your career path? Schools take your entire days and not leaving space for anything else. If you want to master photography and put your shots in your designs, or if you want to learn how to code and code your entire website, 
you cannot do that while you're frequenting a school. Rather, if you're studying everything on your own, you can do whatever you want. And you don't get a mark from your teacher, but you get feedback from people. And I've always been in a mindset that failing and having feedback or lessons from people is the best way to learn from your errors. So remember guys that the most important thing in life is to enjoy the things that you do, want to do and study. If something makes your work or study process not enjoyable, try another way and don't be scared about anything. Be fond of your life, even if you fail, and be whoever you want. I hope that you found this video helpful and useful, that it cleared the doubts that you had in your mind. If so, smash the like button and let me know in the comment section down below if you have other questions about the topic. If you're planning to go to a university or to an academy, I would love to know which one and where. Otherwise, don't be shy and let me know if you agree with me. I would also like to help you with the other decisions that you're struggling with, as well as I'm planning to do a tutorial about how I do my designs and about my design process. Would you be interested in seeing it? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done it and I'll see you in the next video.